One potential nil-nil to a nut. Oh, is this uh, Villarreal and Rayo? That's thrown me a bit. I was expecting Cadiz and yep. Mallorca. Sausage Mallorca. Fingered, uh, do you want me to wait for you, uh, producer? There it is. Hey. hey. So, yeah, you just you killed me there because I said from one nil-nil to <laughs> another. Uh, no, no, that's never going to be nil-nil. Ah, but this no. game could well be nil-nil because it's Cadiz versus a Mallorca. Cadiz not to score a plus 165. Mallorca not to score. Well, again, I just don't think it's happening. Listen, they're minus 157 to score. Um, wow. Under or over 1.75 goals tells you. And the draw is south of plus 200. Surely this game is nil-nil at halftime. And no one, no one is going to tell me that the favourite scoreline in this game, Oaks, is nil-nil at full time. Yeah, I can easily see that. Um, look, I, I told you guys a couple of weeks ago that Cadiz always gets dangerous this time of year. They especially get dangerous at home. We know Mallorca struggles away from the island. Um, this is a great relegation game. This is Cadiz fighting oh, yeah. tooth and nail to stay up. They have 25 points on the table. They realistically still can capture enough points to stay up. Mallorca is sitting just ahead of them with 31 points tied with Celta Vigo and, um, you know, Rayo Vallecano, who we're going to talk about later. Um, the, this relegation fight is getting really interesting. Cadiz always finds a way to make it interesting because they normally are the team right here scrapping to stay out or in that third relegation spot. Um, and it's a very tough building to go play. Um, like Flash was saying, the expectation here is minimal goals. Uh, the over-under is 1.75 for a reason. Um, I, I We were talking pre-show. I turned the game off when Mallorca was down 2-0 um, and stoppage time came up. And I was honestly surprised to see that they scored uh, a final goal, which luckily didn't ruin anything for, for us. But, yeah, I mean, this this somebody's got – I think Cadiz finds a way to win this game. I just, I really do. And I know Flash is sitting on a Mallorca to get relegated ticket at like 10 to 1. So that would be really nice for Flash's future. Um, but yeah, if it's not a Cadiz win, it, it's probably a nil nil draw, 1 1 at the most. Um, yeah, so my move here would be Cadiz on the money line. The pick'em's probably safer, but minus 136 is a lot of juice to drink on a game that. Unless you're very into La Liga, in La Liga 2 even, the promotion relegation stage, this is going to be a tough watch. Yeah, but an enjoyable watch if you do go with me and go with a nil-nil. Uh, Klaus, I was going to go with Cadiz uh, plus uh, minus 136. But listen, if I lose this and Cadiz win, then basically they close the gap on Mallorca. So Vigo could win this weekend as well. But listen, for the love of God, I cannot see goals in this game. Yeah, I mean, more than more than a betting expert, I like to you know talk numbers, get into numbers, get deep into numbers, and you know, Oaks already pretty much summed it up. This is a final, just like last week, we had a final between Real Madrid and Barcelona to see if Barcelona still had a shot to to win the season. And they lost, and this is another final as well because if Cadiz loses here, which I don't think they're gonna lose, but if they lose, then now you're talking about 34 points for Mallorca. You're talking about nine points differential with only a couple of points to play. So. Mm. Could be this could be the match that they get relegated at home uh, without even knowing it. Of course, mathematically, no, but pretty much this could be the match that condemns them. So I think they're going to take the three points. Listen, Cadiz, they got unlucky. If you look at the last two matches, they played against Girona and Barcelona, which are top three teams. So it's understandable. They, they, they lost 4-1 against Girona, especially playing away. They lost against Barca 1-0. That was a very, very close match as well. So I think they're going to take the three points. I saw the plus 155. I liked it. I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to give this team some hope. I'm going to give Cadiz probably the chance to go ahead and get those three points. They're going to move to 28. And now there's going to be only a three-point differential between Mallorca and Cadiz. And that's going to be very, very, very heated towards the last couple of uh, of match weeks here in La Liga. I I, I love to say this, but and, and I enjoy it, especially when I'm not from that country. This year, the highlight, the spotlight is going to be on who's going to get relegated. It's going to be on the relegation battle. It's not going to be on who's going to win the season. It's going to be on who's going to get relegated. It happens a lot in the Premier League uh, as well. It's happened in a couple yeah. of leagues in Europe. But the main focus in La Liga this year is to see who's going to get relegated. I'm going with yeah, Cadiz. I'm, 
Yeah, Almeria and Granada have already booked their uh, booked their holidays. But the big one for me is Mallorca, knowing that if they get a draw in this game, it's like a win because it keeps that six-point cushion away from themselves and Cadiz with another game tipped off. And the one thing you say about Mallorca, they do defend really well. I know they have 27 defenders lined up across the goal. Like I know that's why they don't score enough goals. But Cadiz... I've got to try and force the issue. And I think that Cadiz are not good at forcing the issue. And anyway, all that, team A, team B, when the draw says plus 190, the, it's unbelievable the amount of times that you have to throw all the analysis out the window and just go with the numbers. I understand totally that Cadiz are strong. They're they're known, they're, they're experienced to be in this situation at this time of year. But Mallorca know that a draw is like a win to so just keep that gap away. Yeah, keep the exactly. wolf from the door. And that's why I don't think that Cadiz score. And I'm more than happy to go with Cadiz not to score uh, plus 165 as well, by the way. So a little look at the official picks of game number two of five because we've got Cadiz money line at plus 155. I won't cry if that comes up. Uh, draw plus 190 for me because I think that's the most obvious result. I was going to do draw half time and it was juiced. It was juiced. That's yep. how that's how much this looks like a nil nil. 